What it do you two what the motherfucking business is? Now I just wanna make a real quick video on the man who El Chapo feared. Now let's touch real quick on Miguel Angel Trevino, better known as Z40, a top leader, top lieutenant in the Zetas cartel, you know. He was born in Mexico, Nuevo Laredo, but he moved to Dallas, Texas, you know, and he uh got into a little bit of trouble in Dallas, Texas. You know, made his name out there in Dallas, Texas, moved up within the ranks in Dallas, Texas. You know, he moved up by killing. You know, he killed his way to the top, man. But the top commander of the most feared cartel in Mexico. The Zetas had everyone in fear, including El Chapo and many more. His name was Z40. Z40 was the first to join the Gulf Cartel security arm. Back when the Gulf Cartel boss Arturo Guzman was killed in 2002. He basically strummed armed the cartel and took over. Now, in 2012, the Zeta split into two fractions. One side went with Z40, and the others went with Kano. Kano, aka Z3. And Kano, aka Z3, is said to be the most dangerous and feared man in all of Mexico. The split came from Z40 and Z3, both accusing each other of betrayal. Now, in 2012, Mexican forces shot and killed Z3, leaving the Zetas to be all for Z40. Now, in 2007, Z40 was sent to Veracruz after the death of a high-ranking Zeta. He took control of the town. That's when he got into pirated DVDs and CDs, as well as human trafficking. Netflix did a series called Somos that shed light on a 2011 massacre where 300 people were killed. Z40 ordered all of the 300 people to be killed. Now, that motherfucker wild. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker wild. Now, Z40 once stood over a middle-aged woman inside her own bedroom and injected a lethal dose of Botox into her armpit. She died instantly, man. You know what I'm saying? The woman was not a cartel rival. She was his mother-in-law. Now, that motherfucker right there, man. Just to let you know how much of a psychopath that motherfucker was, man. You know... Z40 always wanted to learn new killing methods and has killed people in every way possible. Z40's favorite way to kill was to dispose bodies of alive and dead victims into large oil dump drums and dousing them with a mixture of gasoline and diesel fuel. He said that's the best way for them to burn quicker. You know, he, he referred to it as, as, as a cookout. You know, he, he called that cookout, you know, let's go whip up some stew. So a lot of these motherfuckers out here, man, you know, in America, norm, people normally whip up dope. In Mexico, they whip up people. You know, that shit, that shit wicked, man. You know what I'm saying? Now, Z40 once paid $24 million to a Guatemalan president to operate and kill freely. If Z40 had a racehorse that he betted and the racehorse lost in the race, he would order the cartel members to run over the horse repeatedly in a truck. That motherfucker was wild. You know, he would, he would also use that same method with people who came short on money, who didn't pay, who he felt was just pissing him off in a way. You know, he'll have them ordered to uh, be ran over repeatedly by a car, a truck, or he'll tie two people's, he'll tie a person's hands on one side and he'll tie a person's feet on the other side and rip the whole body apart. You know, it's even rumors that he's made 12 and 13 year old future hitman for him sit and watch rival enemies and people who just uh, 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 didn't stay true to his whatever uh, or rules he had going on, you know, be eaten by tigers and lions in front of them. You know what I'm saying? He, he forced that upon, he forced the watching and uh, the the, uh, the torturing and suffering of people dying, you know, for others to be seen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he even had doctors on his payroll to perform medical experiments on unsuspecting victims. You know what I'm saying? Z40 loved killing, man. He loved to watch people suffer. Now, that motherfucker right there ain't gonna lie, man. He need a blunt, you know? That motherfucker need a blunt and a glass of Hennessy, man, or a cup of syrup from Soft Walker or something, man. That motherfucker, because he was straight on bullshit, man. You know? I, it's a lot of motherfuckers out here killing, man, but this motherfucker had a real serious issue, man. You know what I'm saying now? A top Zetas leader once told police that Z40 told him he stopped counting the murders of his murder victims after he reached 500 murder victims. Now, Z40 once ordered a massacre on 50 innocent people just so he could dump their bodies along a highway in a rival cartel's territory just to keep the heat from the police off of them. <laughs> that motherfucker. Ooh. 
If Z40 captured one of his enemies alive, he would use them as a target practice for his training camp of new soldiers. Now, Z40 had a, a training camp where he brought a 13 year, anywhere from 10 and up. You know, he had him in a six month training camp where they specialize in hand to hand combat training. They learn how to shoot rifles. They learn how to uh, kill moving targets. They learn how to kill people with headshots. You know, he he specialized within all that. You know, he, he kept them there. A lot of them was forced to be there. A lot of them were kidnapped when they were uh, raiding in these other towns and killing the innocent people. A lot, a lot of these towns, they just went into these innocent towns and killed everybody except for the little boys. You know, and they kept them and kidnapped them and forced them to be soldiers for the Zetas. You know what I'm saying? Now, uh, he once made a 13-year-old prove his loyalty by killing someone. That 13-year-old then later went on to kill 30 more people for him. He is currently doing life in a Texas prison, that same 13-year-old. Now, Z40 put all of his killers, like I was saying, in a training camp. You know what I'm saying? They were, and they were, they were being taught by Israeli mercenaries. You know what I'm saying? How to, how to engage and do all that shit. You know, now Z40 was once asked, why does he have kids as hitmen? You know, he responded saying, I don't care how old you are. It's about what you're willing to do. He didn't mind giving a 15 year old 100,000 in a brand new Mercedes if they earned it by killing. Now, that motherfucker was ruthless, man. He, he was the definition of cutthroat, you know. Uh, matter of fact, I think shit, he, he probably was signed to cutthroat committee, man. That motherfucker was, whew, that motherfucker was hectic, man. He was wild. The shit he was doing, man, was unheard of to a lot of the, uh, to the, to the stories that we've been hearing. You know what I'm saying? The shit get wicked, man. But the beef with him and Chopper, man, it's, everybody knows. If a lot of people ain't familiar with the Netflix series on, about Chopper's, it's a guy in there that when they uh pl interacting with the golf cartel, you know, the guy that come back in the military tank type cars, you know, he he's the one of uh that's played by member Z3 of the Zetas, you know, kind of. He ends up getting killed by the police with their a legend of saying that he uh, faked his death in a way. You know what I'm saying? But the beef with Chapo and Z40 has left over 44,000 innocent people dead, you know, over... 30-something thousand cartel members dead, you know, uh, 